Should you buy an expensive multi-tester or should you just calibrate the one you already have? I have an inexpensive uh, multi-tester here. It's an Inova, Innova 3320. And I got it for like $20, $30 at Walmart. I found that if you open it up, there's, uh, there's a way to calibrate it. And what you need is one of these um, one of these voltage reference modules. Uh, it's a it's based on the chip here. It's a five eight four uh, chip from uh, analog devices, and this one is uh, the recovered part. So th this board just uh, gives you two point five volts, five volts, seven point five volts, and ten volts, and you use that to calibrate your multi tester. So let's open it up, uh, this specific model here. Let's open it up and uh, take a look at where to adjust. Just gonna pull it, turn it off, pull out the plugs. And then there's two screws in the back. All right, so pull out the screws. Two screws. And open up. There you go. This cover's got pretty much nothing. Just a little foam. Not even foam. Just a piece of paper here. And um, there you go. Here's the meter. And all you need is like a little screwdriver. A very small screwdriver, and this is the uh, reference. This is the potentiometer we need to adjust. There's a little adjustment here for voltage, so you just turn that left or right with a screwdriver. Make sure you don't touch anything, you just got to be very careful with it. And what you do is use power it on. I switch on my voltage uh, reference here and I power on the meter, plug it in, and put it insert it into the thing here. It shows 2.5 volts, 5 volts, 7.5 volts, and 10 volts. And I already pre-calibrated it just to show you. Because before this one was calibrated a little bit higher, it was showing 10.03 volts. So I calibrated it by adjusting that little knob here, a little adjustment here, this potentiometer here, this resistor here. Turn it a little bit left or right, very slightly. And you can see the uh, changes, even a slight tap. See it. Okay, even a slight tap, it's, it's will change the uh, voltage. So adjust that. That's all you gotta do. It's very easy. It only takes like a few seconds, and uh, you get one of these uh, voltage reference modules on Amazon. Just look for voltage reference module on Amazon. Okay, and that's it. Now you don't need to pay uh, $800 for an expensive fluke or whatever meter. Right, thanks for watching. Have a good day.